Hey everyone, welcome to KC 3D Sparks. Today we are going to be creating a lever. It's pretty popular in my Shapeway shop. I'll link it down in the description below so that way you can check it out if you're interested. Um, so I thought I'd go ahead and show you guys how to create one for yourselves or just so that way you can see my process for how I created it and that way you can give me suggestions on variations that you would like to see in the shop instead of just the basic one, but I will model it and hopefully add in a couple variations here to show you how you could switch it up if you do decide to model it on your own. So as you can see here, I did start with just the basic cube. I had the dimension set to one inch just to start off, which will quickly get smaller. And for the display, the scale of the grid is set to quarter of an inch. So I'm going to tab into edit mode and get rid of that menu because we don't need that menu anymore by hitting N. So what we'll go ahead and do, go into front view here, and we are going to scale it in along the x-axis because we do want this to be a rectangle instead of a square. So I'm going to go into wireframe view, grab this top and bring this all the way down because we're actually just going to have this start off as the base. Then we'll hit E to extrude and size it in so that way the base has a nice little lip to it which already adds in I think a little bit more detail than what's in the Shapeway shop. Go ahead and extrude that up. We're going to go into side view. Start off with it being a little bit rectangular still but we will go ahead and size that in along the y-axis to start getting it more rounded. Kind of like that. Pretty basic, nothing too fancy yet. So we will add a line in here and just hit escape so that way it's perfect along the z-axis. Deselect everything and then select this side and delete it because any modifications that we'll do will be mirrored now as if we do it on this side so that way we don't have to do it on both sides just like any other video that I do. Pretty much always use the mirror modifier. It just helps so much. It makes everything much easier. Make sure you do add the clipping on or else it's going to come apart and you don't want that. Okay, that way it's, oops, that way it's stuck. <laughs> okay, so now that we have this basic shape, we'll go ahead and add another loop here. And we don't need the inside quite this big, but we'll leave it for now. And what we want to do, oops, go ahead and grab those. Deselect these vertices and cut that one and that one. We're going to hit E to extrude and we'll just go ahead and size that in without going along the x axis and bring that down so it's level. I am going to go ahead and add a subdivision surface just to give myself an idea of what it's going to look like at the moment because I don't want it this blocky. So now that we have this base part, I want to go ahead and we don't want it to look like it has a boat bottom. We will grab all of these and hit shift E to sharpen those so that way it has a nice sharp edge along the bottom. I'm not sure if I want to leave the corners rounded or not, I'll just leave it for now. I also want to crease this so that way it has like a nice seam so that way you can either have this base as a wood or it could be all metal but typically there's a nice crease here so I wanted that there oh, and I also want it here as well. Now in the Shapeways model, I have this edge, actually I believe both edges also creased, but for this one I would like to 
make it a little bit more round. So what I'm going to do instead of creasing it is just add in some more edge loops. So that way it fills it out more and it isn't completely circular, not completely rounded. It just kind of fills it in. So a three looks about good. That way it keeps this nice rounded edge and we don't have to do like a bevel or anything. So from here, there's a couple different things you could do. If you're happy with the shape, then you can go ahead and apply the mirror modifier over here and you can create the actual lever handle to, to pop out because you're going to want both sides to make it kind of a circular handle. Uh, unless you want a box handle, that's cool. That's totally your choice as well. Um, but you will want to go ahead and add the mirror modifier so that way you have more geometry to play with when you're creating that handle. If you're not ready to add the handle and you wanted to add more detail, you could inset this side. So if we go to face, grab these and hit E to extrude, size it in and E to extrude again. I'm going to push that in. You could sharpen up these edges and just create a nice little inset to add in some more detail. It's something I do quite a bit in my other models. I don't think I'm going to do that today. Or you could like I showed in the last video, I believe, you could hop into sculpting mode and add in a lot of different details in here. So let's see this real quick. If you go over to sculpt mode, you could bulk up this edge if you wanted. Um, since there's not much geometry right now, because we did not add in the subdivision surface modifier, You'll probably want to add in the Dino Topology um, box if you're sculpting because you'll notice nothing is really moving. It's very slow because it's based off of. Oops, wrong one. Oh. It is based off of. Oh my gosh. This geometry that's currently there and not the actual. All of this geometry that you can see. All of these. If you wanted it to be based off of that, you go into um, object mode. You would have to apply the mirror modifier. So if we apply this, apply that, we can go into sculpt mode. Oops. And it will, you'll notice that it's um, reacting with all of the geometry now be a very funky looking lever. But I mean it's your creativity. You can do whatever you want with it. Um, so have fun. Or like I was trying to say before, you could just bulk up this edge to give it a nice little lip. Oops. And I do have the mirror on still so that way it is still replicating over here. I don't know how I feel about that lip. It's kind of weird looking. But maybe you like it. Again, it's up to you. Use your artistic license and have fun with it. Okay. So, let me go to object mode. Oh, yeah. There we go. Okay, so I undid the subdivision surface modifier and the mirror modifier. Um, Actually, I might redo the mirror modifier because I think... Yeah, if you guys have any other questions or you want to see some other details or anything else with this lever part, awesome. Let me know. But for now, I think that's good. I'll go ahead and apply this so I can show you how to make the handle. So we're going to go back into edit mode. And we're going to go ahead, because I want it to be at an angle, kind of like how the one in my shop is. We'll go ahead and grab these four faces. Hit E to extrude and size that in quite a bit. I'm going to hit W. No, I'm not going to hit W. I'm going to hit Shift E because there are some sharpened edges in here and unsharpen those because we don't want that sharp yet. Awesome. Now you can see that creates kind of a weird divot. 
So we're going to want to fix that. So grab this and just fix up the geometry and make the half circle go back to normal ish. Perfect. Then we're going to go ahead and grab these four so that way we can make it more circle like. Like I said, if you want to make this a square handle, just leave it as is, but I'm going to try to make it look a little bit more circular. So if you want to make it circular, then also grab these four vertices and then you're going to size them in until about there. Looks good. And then you'll want to go back into side view and make sure that your circle still looks kind of normal, which I think that's good enough. Maybe we'll fix that up later. Um, but now, go ahead and grab that circle. Go into side view again. Hit Z so that way you can see through the sides. And we're going to hit E to extrude. And just bring it up. And a little bit further. Because since this is a pretty large lever, the handle is probably going to be pretty big. Because obviously, if it was a regular hand lever, it would be absolutely tiny. And I don't think that it would print properly. So I'm doing versions of levers that are pretty big and they will be kind of floor based and you probably have to put your whole body into to turn or flip. So you want it to be kind of like it comes up to their waist. Kind of picturing like this comes up to probably their shin, knee area, depending on you know, if they're just a regular human or a different race. Oh, that circle is lower. Hmm. Okay, I'll fix that in a second. Um, and then you'll kind of base off your judgment for how much more you want this to be. How much higher you want that to be. Yep. Okay. So that uh, we'll do here and then we can do E to extrude, size, and E. Because we are going to make the grip a little bit bigger than the actual stick part of the handle. I like that. It's nice. I'm not going to fill that in yet. Eh, yes, I will. I'm just going to hit F for face to fill that in. And nice. Why in the world? Okay, so you can see that for some reason some of the normals got messed up. That's why these ones are darker and these ones are lighter. When they're all kind of the same color, you know that the normals are correct. However, when they start going like they have a dark shadow on it, something's wrong. When that happens, select everything, hit the space bar, and type in normals. Yeah, you can either hit flip normals, make normals consistent, or you can come over here to shading and UVs, go to the normals tab and hit recalculate, and you'll notice that these instantly change color. So two different ways to get to them. You can hit the space bar, type in normals, or you can come over here to shading and UVs and recalculate the normals, whatever your preference may be. We'll go ahead and grab this base again. And we're going to sharpen that. That was nice and flush with this circle part. And we're probably going to bring these sides in because this is a little wide for that handle. And then we're going to grab this circle. Make that sharp, and we're going to add in two rings here. We're going to size them down. No, we're not. Bring a ring here, there. Size that one in. Size that one in. There. Now it looks a little bit more like a grip. And also, to add a little bit of a divot in the handle too, right there. Nice. 
I like that. So one thing that we'll do as well, since the handle's so skinny, this part doesn't need to be that wide. Go to wireframe view, select these, and that sizing everything as you can notice. So what we'll do is just grab it. Pull it into there. Same thing to this side. Just make it. There we go. That looks good. Perfect. And now you have a basic lever. Oops. So you can either print this out as is, add in more detail, make the handle longer if you want, shorter, smaller, square, whatever you would like. So if you, like I said, if you have any suggestions or comments, just critiques, or just something else that you'd like to see in the shop, please just leave a comment. I'd love to hear your feedback. I know I say that every time, but I really do mean it. And I really appreciate your views and subscribes and just anything else you can help me out with. I really do appreciate it. Let me know if there's anything else you'd like to see, and I will see you guys next time.